go. So we better go shoot these cars. One location I'm going to. Um, I was there yesterday, but I got a little bit more to shoot there. Got a little lean on my shirt. I got more to shoot there. Um, they got about 40 cars that didn't need me to shoot. I shot 10 yesterday, right? <laughs> so I got 30 more that I need to shoot from there. Uh, it's pretty cool though. That just means that I got more work that I got to do with them, which is a very positive thing because that means that you just have more money coming in, right? Um, yeah. There's supposed to be a car meet on Saturday that I'm going to go to. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I believe it's a uh, cars and coffee meet, but I'm not really too sure what it is. But hopefully we see some good cars there. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. See if I can back out without hitting something. Not like I have a problem doing that or anything. But just trying to make sure I'm doing that while holding this damn phone because I don't have a suction cup to put my phone up to, you know, record me while I'm moving. But yeah, we got a couple cars to shoot today. Um, we're going to try to knock out at least 10 um, with one of my clients and see where the day goes after that. Um, but after I shoot those cars, see what more business we can we can create, see what more business we can get. The funny thing about uh, doing commercial auto photography is that some weeks are very, are very populous in the cars. Like some weeks you shoot a lot of cars, some weeks you don't, right? Um, the trick is to try to find consistent work is to try to get with with clients that will constantly have you shooting their cars. So one good thing to ask your clients is when you're going in there to try to you know get business and try to build a partnership to where you could be the photographer for that dealership is ask them how many vehicles they on a usual or on an average purchase at the uh, auction per week. Some some car lots they only purchase four because they're like smaller, you know, smaller lots. Uh, some dealers, they purchase 10 cars a week. Some some dealers purchase 20. Um, of course, you'll get more money and you'll, you'll um, have more opportunities to make your client happy if they purchase more cars and you're able to shoot more cars because that means you'll be able to deliver a high quality photo for each car, right? So that'll work on that end. Don't worry about that. But the truth of the matter is you'll make more money, of course, if you're shooting with a car lot that uh, brings in more more cars a week as opposed to somebody that doesn't bring in that many cars a week, uh, which is pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. But today we're going to go into our client, my client, and go ahead and see what cars we can shoot. Like I said, I'm trying to shoot 10. That's the goal for today. Anything less is not acceptable. So, yeah. So I just left one of my dealerships and they gave me a list of cars that they need shot for their other dealership, their other brother partner dealership. I got lint all over me, man. This is crazy. I always use a lint roller before you go anywhere, right? But yeah, they give you a list and it looks something like this. Yeah, this is a bunch of cars. It's all over. I can't show you everything. All this, you know, VIN numbers and things like that. But yeah, they give you the list and then you just go and you shoot. Um, whichever one is ready. Uh, some of them might not be external, like exterior-wise ready. Uh, they might need to be washed. They have a bunch of mud by the splash guards or a bunch of dust everywhere or just a bunch of Cheetos on the floor. Yeah, you got to wait for those cars, right? You got to get those clean. They got to get they gotta get detailed before you shoot them because if they're dirty and you shoot them dirty, the pics come out dirty. So, you, <laughs> you know, you have to... You have to use your, you know, your your judgment, your best judgment. You have to use discernment when you want to shoot the cars that are, that are on a list that the dealership gave you. You know, you have to use your better judgment to say, okay, this car is not ready, and you need to communicate this to your point of contact so that they know to get that car ready before you shoot it. Um, this helps for that particular moment as well as in the future when they give you more cars. They'll know this car needs to be ready before we give it to him to shoot or her not trying to paint a picture to where it's only men shooting right <laughs> but yeah but we're off all right so we're here at the dealership that we're gonna shoot today 
We're here at, oh, I can't even do the camera. We're here at Alpha Autoplex. So just switch the numbers around and that'll get you the right number. That also says we finance, not EC and F. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say that. But yeah, we got our list. So we're gonna see what we can shoot today. And yeah, keep it moving. So we're about two hours in. Uh, we got about seven cars done. The goal is 10. I'm gonna try to get 10. Uh, some of the cars are blocked in and out of my Pretty much I can't take photos of some of the cars because they may not be ready or they're just inaccessible to me at this time. So we're going to go for 10. Right now we're at 7, so we're going to try to get 10. As you can guess, it's really, really, really hot outside. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're taking photos of a Honda Accord. Right? I can't switch my camera around. But yeah. Taking pictures of our Honda Accord. And we're gonna get this on the website today. Okay, that's one of the things I like to basically promise to my clients is that when I take photos that same day, the photos will be online that same day. So I do all my editing and post processing the same day, so therefore it can go on their website. Um, just feel like it makes things a lot easier. Um, and it's a great selling point that you can present to your clients. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out, try to get 10, and yeah. Boom. All right, yeah, so we knocked out our eight here at Alpha Autoplex. We were supposed to knock out 10, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. So we were just gonna go ahead and call it a day. None of my other clients have any cars to shoot today, so we're pretty much finished for today. Um, trying to think, is there any takeaways from today? Because there's always positive takeaways in your day, right? Um, one of the things that I learned today was, yeah, to always just reiterate what you need, what you need done from your clients prior to you showing up there. Um, are the cars washed? Are the cars in positions where you can get them out of the position, their, their current positions to take photos to them? Are they accessible is basically what I'm trying to say, because a lot of times these cars are blocked in by trailers or blocked in by other cars and you can't take photos of them you know if they're blocked in and then you have to move that car and then sometimes people can't find the keys to the particular cars that are in front of them right don't mind me i'm it's very very hot here in texas or well, in dallas texas and i'm sweating like crazy right but yeah just pretty much reiterate what you always need from your client with them because take it from me they're gonna tell you what they need from you right so you need to tell them what you need from them always in a respectful man manner right because they need to treat you in a respectful manner too um so yeah that was just one of the key takeaways from today um i'm pretty happy with what i was able to produce today and um produce for my clients but overall just stay tuned i think i had that car meet on saturday that i will be shooting some footage of and hopefully we can see some nice cars out there um hopefully we can see some more supers because i've been really paying attention to more supers and getting back into the uh, toyota toyota scene so hopefully we hopefully we'll get some footage there um, but yeah stay tuned